Om dear Mundu. We are about to head out to Brazil to go to a health store. And Sasha's looking at the temperature. What's the temperature today? 12. That's not bad. It's not, but it feels really cold. Yeah, it's definitely warmed up since this morning. Those health stores that we said we were going to go to last time and didn't get to, we are just going to go straight to them because I know if we go to the mall first, we will not end up there. So <laughs> let's do that. Let's see if we can get some story biscuits for the big journey back to England. <laughs> so that's just doing some exercise to warm up. <laughs> Good way to warm up. Nice and warm. Yeah. You're out of breath. <laughs> Quick little workout. I've done the job. Yeah. Well, we are in Brazil and we are very close to our first destination, one of the first health shops we're going to. We didn't vlog the journey here because we were having some big chats. <laughs> We've been talking about stories education and Steiner schools and then Bitcoin <laughs> again. <laughs> so we are now in Brazil. <laughs> Just getting Story out of the car, parked outside this little pretty garden here. Some nice flowers. Don't they look really tropical, Sash, those orange flowers yeah. there? We have never been to this part of Vizel before, so we have no clue where we are. But hopefully the store will be open and we'll have the things we're looking for. And if not, we'll go to one of the other ones on our list. We've got three on our list. Look at this pretty girl. Mm. Look at those big cheeks and that lovely hairband. A new hairband, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. From Dawn. Yummy. <laughs> yeah. You look like a tasty sweet. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I want to gobble ya. shop we were going to is called Beira Bio and it was recommended to us by our friends Karina and Vinny. They've been living in Vizel now for a few months and they came here and bought Story some biscuits that she loved. <laughs> Little apple biscuits shaped like bears weren't they? Or yeah. shaped like bunnies. All three. There was a bunny, a cat and a rabbit. Yeah and we haven't <laughs> oh, been able to... Not a bunny and a rabbit. It's the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> we haven't been able to find these particular biscuits in any of the normal stores, so we want to see one of these places. What are we doing, Story? <laughs> I'm on a biscuit hunt. Look at you, you're like you're still in bed. <laughs> Got the interesting house there, Sash. It's quite cool for a townhouse, isn't it? <laughs> we found it. Is it open? Yeah? Perfect. One of the major problems I'm finding about us generally and he, being here in Portugal is we always seem to end up places at midday and it's the worst time to end up anywhere in Portugal isn't it? Because of the closure times so it's open, that's a good thing. Bom dia. Bom dia. Well this looks interesting doesn't it Story? Ooh. Lentil chips. Flowers. It smells like a real health shop in here. Yeah, it does. Artisan espresso oh, pods, so are they? Coffee, no, it's coffee. Huh. Oh, no, hang on. They're, They're pods, pods, yeah. yeah. This is a cool store, yeah. It's actually a lot bigger than I thought it was going to be. And there's a few options, isn't there? Yeah. And we just, we just noticed that they have Ella's Kitchen food pouches, which is what we get in England. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Well, that was a successful shopping trip, wasn't it? Yeah, I yeah. liked that shop. We spent 10 euros on all of Story's little bits and pieces, and we got you some nice little snacks, didn't we, for the journey? Both really impressed with that store, though, so we're going to go and get some more money out and go back in there and spend it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> get some stuff for ourselves. Yeah, snacks for us for the yeah. journey. Okay, we've just withdrawn some money, and we're going to go straight back to the store, <laughs> do some more shopping. Exciting actually, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. It's not often we get to find all these kind of products in a, in one place. Yeah. What do they have for us now? Yum yum. Now this is really cool. They've got date pate, 500 grams of it for two euros 40. All by Logico. So we can make our balls with that. Perfect. They've even got some really cool things in here like Satan. I know it's a weird word, but they've got that. They've got all these different types of tofu in here. Curry mango tofu, black forest tofu, soy yogurts. Mmm. What a nice selection, eh, Story? I could spend so much money in here. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> Although some of it isn't that expensive, really, in comparison. I just want lots. Yeah. <laughs> 
We are back in the car. I'm so happy we found that shop. That's a great find. Really liked that. <laughs> we came away with this big bag and all of that inside. We spent a total of 30 euros, so I'll show you what we bought. So these are the items we got for story. We got these Baby Bio meals. There's two meals in there for the journey back. And it is a little vegetable stew. Its base is sweet potato with carrot and tomato and pepper. And we also got her these biscuits. They are little mini coconut biscuits a fruit smoothie we've already got her some of these but these looked really yummy and she loves mango so we've got that one and then another bag of baby biscuits baby bio for the journey back these ones are orange flavor so she hasn't had these before so that is all stories little journey snacks and that was about nine euros for all of that so for jay and i's car snacks we got some banana chips and 150 grams of Brazil nuts, which was three euro 69, which was actually a really good price because we pay nearly five euros for them in our shop. We also got some lemon and carrot biscuits and some integral brown little cracker type biscuits with sesame seeds. We also bought a bar of this gorgeous Vivani chocolate, which we haven't had since we were in Foz de Aurelio, so looking forward to that. And we got this date paste, which isn't a snack for the car, but I can make some granola balls with it rather than pitting all the dates and chopping it up in the blender. It's already done. It's like a soft, squashy date. We also got for our dinner some curry mango flavour tofu, which we're going to have with leftovers from last night and a chocolate pudding. Look at that, it is just coconut and cacao powder. So we are definitely looking forward to that. And we also bought two little pies with spelt flour seitan pies, which we're gonna eat now for our lunch. So that was a little mini car shopping haul for you. <laughs> and we are now at the mall. So we're gonna go in and grab a coffee, do a little bit of shopping and then head home. Come on you, let's continue this shopping journey. There we go. Right, we're both feeling quite hungry now, so we're going to go straight to the cafe that sells those vegan croissants. Of course. Of course, they are very, <laughs> very delicious. That's all they've got that we could probably eat in there. It is. But it's always our first stop whenever yeah. we come in here. <laughs> this thought, I wanted to say though, like um, people have been saying in the comments that you know, oh yeah, you're not vegan and everything. No, we're not actually vegan. We do eat vegan food, yes. and we try and reduce the amount of sugar that we eat and everything. We try to stay healthy, but we're not actually full vegans we, no. we acknowledge that which we've never said we yeah. were anyway but yeah. we talk about vegan food a lot because at home we pretty much are because we don't buy eggs and milk and cheese and if you wanted to put a title on it we mostly eat a plant-based diet but we're not actually vegans <laughs> not, not yet anyway we're full-time vegetarians part-time vegans <laughs> <laughs> Just mashing up stories, banana and coconut. Yummy. Good stuff, eh? Good stuff. Stories enjoying some coconut milk there. It's all looking very Christmassy in here now, in the Palacio de Gelo. Whee! That goes really high. Whee! Down we go. Yeah. What are we doing now, Story? Doing a bit of shopping. We're also doing a bit of texture feeling, aren't we? So I'm taking you to an article of clothing. And I'm saying, here you go, look at that. Ooh. How do you like that? Is that nice? Ooh. Ooh, nice. Okay, next thing. You still want that one? Okay. And don't pull it off the rack. Ah, hang on. <laughs> don't pull it off. There we go, there we go. Okay, Story, we're done in the shops, aren't we? Heading back to the car. And what's mummy saying? Hmm? What's she saying? I'm not interested no. now. <laughs> Story really likes it when mummy says vamos. Hey? Wanna try? Wanna try one more time? 
Sorry. Sorry. Push! <laughs> it is. It is. I have got a shopping baby. I thought there was a Zara in this mall, but there actually isn't, and that is what the main thing that I wanted to go in. But never mind, I actually got myself a skirt and I got Story a little present as well. That's for Story. We got her a new comforter. It feels exactly like Nut Brown, but it is for when Nut Brown goes in the wash, which will be later on today. <laughs> Homeward bound? Indeed. And we are home. Actually took a bit longer than it should have done because Jay took the wrong exit on one of the roads. So we had to do a big circle and come back on ourselves. <laughs> Story was sleeping, so. Oh, just checking the post box. Looks like we've missed a delivery. We are gonna have to go and collect that from the post office. Merchandise. I don't know, it's got your name on it. Yeah, it must be the merchandise. Yeah, hi Eden. Hi! <laughs> Still got your coat on. Go on then. <laughs> Story and Eden are just having their dinner. The sun is setting out here. A little bit of purple and orange in the sky there. I want to get outside and put the roof rack on the car before it gets too cold. Are you okay with that Eden dog? I'm going to put the roof rack on. I've been leaving this to the last minute because I hate the sounds that the roof rack makes when it's on the car. It whistles in the wind. It's very irritating. So, last minute job it is. Well, that took much longer than I wanted it to. It was quite cold out here and everything had kind of frozen into place. So the WD-40 and the hammer got involved. But I finally got the roof rack on there and I'll be putting the box on I think the day we leave. Did I disturb you, young girl? Hmm, sorry. I saw you eating your dinner. It's our dinner time now, Eden. And tonight we are having curry mango tofu from the health store. We thought it'd go perfectly with the curry that Sasha cooked for us last night. We don't really have much left, so we needed to bulk it up with something. So it's the perfect little find, I think. <laughs> We're also gonna have some garlic bread made out of nut. What are you doing? You digging again? You little digger. As I was saying, some tasty garlic bread. How does that smell? Like mangoes. Ooh, nice. You want to smell? Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> the leftovers are heating in there. What's in here? Turmeric quinoa. Nice. We've both decided that Eden's not taking this jumper off now. It's staying on for the whole winter. <laughs> She just looks so warm and cosy in it. I feel bad taking it off her now, don't you? Yeah. yeah she's really enjoyed being in that. I think it's definitely made a difference. She shivers a lot less. Yeah. It does not stop you from digging though, does it, Eden? No, it does not. Tofu's getting served up onto the plate. Looks quite interesting. Don't know what it's going to taste like. And I want to say a huge thank you to everybody who's ordered the calendar so far. I think we've sold 10 now, maybe Woo! more than 10. Yeah. So the numbers are going down. If you want a 2018 calendar, go to 8milesfromhome.com and buy a Story Eden calendar. Yeah, they're really cool. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to go ahead and finish this video for now. Don't forget, if you are an 8 miler, you're in with a chance of winning seven nights in Portugal. And to become an 8 miler, you can click the links up here or in the description below. So hit the thumbs up button and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye! Last but not least, the garlic bread.